coverage of the NFL brings us to Acrisure Stadium on the north shore of the Steel City, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And with the terrible towels waving wildly, we are underway from Pittsburgh. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And the defense has got it. Oh, a no. Greetings from just across the New York-New Jersey border in New Jersey at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. The veteran Jason Myers will get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Go Dutter! Go Dutter! Off we go! Jones going to throw right away. That's going to be caught by Darius Slayton. 18 yards. What a great way to start the drive. It's a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And there wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. That's to the right side and incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Okay, here we go. Why shift to Crude? Why shift to Crude? Troy, Detroit, Detroit. Timberland, Timberland, Timberland. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Defensively, that's just a missed opportunity, Mike. Anytime you have two defenders in the arena, area arena, arena, arena. and neither one of them is able to make a play on the ball, yes, I know that the ball fell incomplete, Bama, Bama, but, Bama. man, you got to get your hands on that ball and take advantage. This one is taken in downfield. Big completion. They get 21 on that one. That's good for a Giants first down. Jones to the air again. He'll get that complete right side. It's Bellinger. 
They'll get about four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Here's a second and six. Flick right, flick right, flick right. Gold, goldfish. Gold, goldfish. Goldfish. Up we go. He has height complete. And he's into the end zone. Jalen Hyatt. Touchdown, Giants. Now it's Grant Gano for the PAT. His kick is good. And the Giants will take a 7-0 lead. So out is Gano after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And no chance to return this one. Through the end zone for a touchback. First and ten. Come on, come on. Play action now. It's Gino. Now he'll run. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, when you decide to pick up those yards with your feet, you got to pay a price. And in this case, he takes a big shot, but not before he's able to pick up that first down. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Come on! 53, 53. Working out of the gun, Smith. Connecting with the tight end. That's bad. And after the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first, and what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle, and what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. And he will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Here we go. A first down throw for Smith. And they're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to the other side of midfield. Brian Burns, the former Panther, in there for the sack. One quarter in the books. Seven nothing is our score. Or from MetLife Stadium after this. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Perfect. From the gun, it's Gina. Complete to the former Buckeye, Jackson Smith and Jigba. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. A big play for Seattle. And even 30 yards. On first and ten, here comes Walker. And he'll take it down inside the 20. A run into the red zone, a pickup of six. He'll come up now for second down and four. 
from the shotgun. It's Smith. And the Seahawks are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. And a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner. Pick up the first down. He pulls it in around the five. And he gets out wide. He'll go to the end zone. Tyler Lockett. Touchdown, Seahawks. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game. And you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession. And they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath. Maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop. And they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 seven, seven as they kick it off. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. Jones. And that is incomplete. They don't end up winning this game, Mike. They're going to look back on that missed throw as being really the biggest reason why. They are just able to connect on that play. Not only is it a big play, but I think they find themselves with an opportunity for a walk-off touchdown. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Great, great, great. Here we go, hey. Shotgun now for Jones. And he'll let it go deep for Johnson. And he is out of bounds all the way down at the 35-yard line. A big-time play out of the G-Men. 38 yards. Two minutes to play. First half, all tied at seven. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this. Here we go. From the 35, it's first and 10. Go Cyclone! Go Cyclone! Go Cyclone! And now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. They'll run straight ahead with Singletary. And he is not going to get away. Might have got the yard, but it will set up third down. To throw is Jones. And on third down, that ball incomplete. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? And I 
think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. So they come to the line for first down and 10. To throw, it's Smith. They try to set up the screen, but this one doomed from the start. It's incomplete. They've been a little up and down in this first half. I mean, they have less than 80 yards of total offense and halftime loom. So missed throws like that, those are missed opportunities. They've got to hit the plays when they have them. They want to have a chance to leave here with a win. On second down, Smith. Hit as he throws, and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. From the shotgun, Smith. He's going to air one out for Metcalf. That is knocked away downfield. Incomplete. He made sure not to let the receiver get behind him. Third down stop sets up fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. And he's going to have the Seahawks first down. They come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving. And then some. Well, you can see the entire sideline and, frankly, the entire fan base kind of holding their breath. That decision on your own side of midfield to go for it on fourth down, had they not gotten it, it's a tough position to put your defense in, but that's a conversation for another day. The offense is going to stay on the field after the conversion, and now they got to see, can they take advantage of that aggressive play call and finish this drive with points? Smith to throw on first and ten. They'll try to set up the screen here with Walker. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. Throwing on second down, Smith. This one complete to his tight end fan. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do. That one taken in. D.K. Metcalf. Touchdown, Seattle. You know, he spent so much time talking about the heroics of a game-winning drive to end the fourth quarter in two-minute mode. Well, let's talk about a two-minute mode, Mike, at the end of the first half. It might not be in walk-off fashion, but I'll tell you what, executing that here, going into halftime, changes this entire game. So, final seconds of this first half. Looks like they'll take a lead into the locker room as the kick's away. A good return as he takes it across the 30.
They'll come up here first and ten. Timberland, Timberland, Timberland. Up we go. From the gun, it's Jones. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. Okay, Coach, thanks a bunch. We'll see which team's adjustment's going to pay dividends here. I think you're going to play a big role in who wins this one. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go. The second half is underway. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. They'll go play action. It's Smith. He's going to air one out for Metcalf. And he will go all the way. D.K. Metcalf. Touchdown, Seahawks. His second catch of the game. And both have gone for touchdowns. Myers, good on the extra point. And the Seahawks are out to a 21-10 lead. After the TD, Myers comes on now to kick it away. On the return, it is Tyrone Tracy. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. give it to Singletary to begin this drive. And he finds some daylight up past the 35-yard line. A pickup of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Biggie, 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 biggie. They'll run once more with Singletary. And this will be a Giants first down as he gets this up to the 40-yard line. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. Yes. Gold gutter! Gold gutter! Up we go! He'll go back to Singletary on first down. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. Here we go, hey. Rita, 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 Rita. Up we go. Here's Jones. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. He's going to be out of bounds, but he's got the first down. A pickup of eight. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than F half 18, of your F pass 18. attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, he's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. And he will have a Giants first down. They're able to convert by plenty 
on that third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and South ten. Dallas, South okay, here we go. Dom Capers, Dom Capers, Dom Capers, Dom Capers. Timberland, 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 Timberland. Off we go. Jones. This one pulled in by the tight end, Bellinger. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results hey, in a completion. Throwing Jones. He's got it at the seven. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, New York. They'll try for two. Jones going to get the Giants set. Set. The Giants will line up for the two-point conversion. Great, 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 great. Up we go. Now they'll set up to throw. That is caught. And they get the two-point conversion. Gano after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. On the return, it's LaVisca Chenault. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. So, three quarters now. start the drive and that one is closed down in the backfield what a defensive play knifing in dropping him for the loss at this stage in the fourth quarter great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do they're trying to bleed the clock shorten the game they completely sold out to stop the run able to take them down for a loss A second down throw for Smith. Outright Smith and Jigba has it. And it'll be taken down after a gain of nine. And third down coming up. Gino. He'll try to hit him with a screen. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down mark. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and their running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks.
The offense not coming off the field. And here's fourth down. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. The offense staying out there go, for Sunday, this Sunday. fourth down. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, sit up. And that is not going to work. Incomplete. And they turn it over on down. You give your offense a chance to close this game out. If they pick up the first down, this game is over. But now, after the defensive stop, we're starting to see some signs of life on that other side. This is first and 10. Here we go. Go North Salad. Go North Salad. Go. Now, single terror. Yards are hard to come by there. We'll work it down to the 37 yard line. Here comes second down. Dog, 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 dog. Triple right, Pacino. Triple right, Pacino. Other side, other side. Out to go. They'll drop to throw. He's got his man. That's Slayton. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. And now, after that catch, they've got a chance here late, Mike. They've got enough time to try to move this thing down. I think they can win the game on this possession. Single Terry. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal. Good running. Gets him down to about the four-yard line. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. Here we go. First Flash and goal. The crew. Crew, crew. Here we go. Calm, calm. They'll run here with Singletary. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. And he missed it. It's no good. Wow, that could be costly because it is just a field goal difference. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. And no chance to return this one. Through the end zone for a touchback. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Working out of the gun, Smith. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. To the air, it's Smith. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. Now Seattle going to use the first of their timeouts. 
And they stop it with 22 ticks left on the clock here in the fourth. The crowd cranking it up another notch before third and long. From the gun, it's Gino. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. That's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. Taking the deep shot for Smith and Jigba. 